Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I have some breaking news. The Farm Bill clears the house. This is the news we've been waiting for. It is official, almost. The House cleared farm legislation that renews agricultural subsidies and food aid for low-income families without a controversial provision backed by conservatives and President Donald Trump that would have toughened work requirements to qualify for assistance. The bill passed 369 to 47 on Wednesday, a day after the Senate passed it 87 to 13. The measure now goes to Trump, who has indicated he supports it. The five-year U.S. $867 billion legislation, which also would extend federal crop insurance, scrapped an earlier House provision that would have added work requirements for older food stamp recipients and those with older children. The provision has been included in the House version of the measure and was removed during negotiations with the Senate where it faced opposition. The bill requires governors to sign off on state requests for work required waivers in areas with high unemployment. Currently, able-bodied adults under age 50 without dependents are expected to work at least 20 hours a week or be in training program to obtain benefits, but states can request waivers from those requirements for high unemployment areas. Another snag resolved by negotiators was a push by Agricultural Secretary Sonny Perdue and Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke to enact more permissive logging regulations. Such provisions weren't included in the final legislation, according to Democratic Aid. Let us tell those farmers and ranchers and growers that are going through tough times that they're going to be good for the next five years, Senator Pat Roberts of Kansas chairman of the Agricultural Committee said on the Senate floor, Congressional approval of HR2 comes after farm programs under current law began to expire September 30th. We made the compromises we needed to make to get this deal done. House Agricultural Committee Chairman Mike Conaway of Texas told reporters last month, Trump told reporters at the White House on Tuesday that the farm bill is in very good shape and our farmers are well taken care of. The bill found a champion in Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky who cheered the inclusion of a provision that would make hemp a legal agricultural commodity, a boon to some farmers in his home state. Under the farm bill, hemp would be removed from the federal list of controlled substances. There it is. That's what we need, people. We're so close. I can taste it. And hemp farmers will be able to apply for crop insurance. Unlike its biological cousin, marijuana, hemp has industrial uses and doesn't produce a high if ingested. Proponents say it has other therapeutic uses, such as easing pain and anxiety. So what do you guys think about this news? This is huge. We are literally waiting for the last signature all we need is president trump to sign off and we're through the farm bill clears the house and it was passed 367 369 to 47 remember rich tv live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes always do your due diligence always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on rich tv live get all the breaking news get all the top stock information holler at your boy contact us follow us on all social media let's take a look at how this has affected the market today bam mcoa up 58 percent today marijuana company of america up 58 percent on this news today what do you think about this We've seen a lot of different stocks that have exploded based on some of this news today. What do you think? I want to know what you guys think. Please comment down below, smash the like button, share this video everywhere. The bill passes the house, 369 to 47. What do you think? This is your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the news and we bring it to you first. It's true. If I win and you win, we all win. I'm out. Peace. MCOA up 58%.
Oh my goodness, look at all that grief. 